Okay, very good. You told me, teacher, there's a base 3, there's a base 9. So in this case, we change to a smaller number, we change to base 3. So remember, if I have a base 9, I do not want. I want to change to a base 3. So remember to write your fraction. Log to base 3, log to base 3. What should I put on top? Y. What should I put below? 9. But remember, number 9 can be written as 3 square. So I'm going to write 3 square. Oh, teacher, it's a good choice because I remember. What is it? Oh, log 3 to base 3 with a power 2. This can be written with the power 2 in front as a constant number. And log 3 to base 3 being 1, this means that 2 times 1 equal to 2. My denominator will just become a number 2. So I'm going to simplify what happened at the denominator, all in purple. Of course, you want to write by the side, you can, because I don't write everything all inside the booking. It becomes very lengthy. But teacher, it's very obvious. It's just number 2. Then just write number 2 yourself. Okay, I am stuck. So tell yourself, whenever you are stuck, you use substitution method. Since this is part B, I let B be equal to log Y to base 3. So after I substitute, I just need to find the value of B. So in this case, remember, after you solve for B, our job is to find Y. Remember to substitute back. Change it to index form again. I have a base 3 to the power of 14 over 3. Press the calculator and give me 3 as that. When answers are not exact, remember to give me 3 as that.